Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create rocks or cliffs with VBD noises, then walk you through the Solaris setup. This is just an example of the kind of details you can create for rocks or cliffs. I just did this simple example. I started with a box and did some very basic sub operations like extruding and beveling, then added a mountain at the end to distort a bit the shape. After that I converted it to a VDB and all the cool stuff happens at the volume drop. In the VBD from polygons it's recommended you change the attribute to density instead of the default surface, it will make our life easier. And of course set the desired resolution, this can get pretty slow, so for now let's work with a low res version. So the volume pop looks like it's pretty confusing if you're a beginner, but it's actually repeating the same stuff for over and over. The basic idea is to distort the shape with noises and sometimes add another noises to distort the main noises. Let's start with the first noise, which is just displacing the shape overall. So we take the position from the input and we feed it to a unified noise. I only experimented with the noise type and changed the frequency or repetition of the noise. Then, as mentioned before, I am using another noise to distort the main pattern, which by default is pretty rigid. Basically taking a noise, manipulating the values with the fit range and adding it to the position input. At the end there's just a multiply by constant to control the amount of displacement. So in this second layer of detail I am creating this pattern with a Manhattan cellular and increasing the mean value of the original range quite a bit to add some contrast to the effect. And again distorting the noise with another one. There's nothing new going on in this third layer, just a different noise and frequency playing with the values of the fit range. For the last pattern I am creating these cuts in the volume, mostly by manipulating the frequency of the noise in one of the axes, also rotating the pattern in X, and using again the unified noise, which being slower than the, let's say, the turbulence, it has more variety of noises. And yeah, this is just an example of what you can create, you can change the source shape and manipulate the noises in different ways to have a completely different output. After converting it to polygons I am creating a mask to scatter some trees. Basically taking the Y components of the normal attributes and feeding it to a ramp. Finally just use a bind export to create the attribute. So quickly going through the Solari setup. I am importing the mesh and applying a material with a tri with the triplanar node. I am also using a bit of displacement and auto bump to add some details. Then adding some fog, layering some noises as covered in the 3D environment tutorial. And as far as I know you need to export it as a VDB and import it in a volume node to render in our node. For the trees I use the component geometry to import the different assets using the geometry variant setup as shown in previous videos, feeding the assets into the instancer and inside I am scattering some points, randomizing the orientation and, sc and scale and using the mask or attribute created before on the scatter node. Finally adding a light, a camera and that's about it. And this was my final result, as you can see we, we can create some nice details on the mesh just by using VDBs. 
In case you want the file I will upload it to my Patreon and also check out my Gumroad where you can find many free tools and an environment tutorial. Thank you and see you in the next one.